Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I've got two replays for you, and this is based on the IS4 grind that I have completed recently. So we've got part one and part two on this video. In the part one, we are showing the KV3 and the KV4. So the KV3, this is what we start off on at uh, tier seven. And um, yeah, the Russian grinds, obviously, I can't remember where they branch off from, um, you know, on what tanks run before this. So um, yeah, I'm really, I think it's the KV85 if I remember rightly, but uh, yeah, don't quote me on that. Um, you can see in the top right hand corner there the equipment that we're running for this tank. So it's gun, ram, avert, stabs and vents. And you can see we're running Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Six Sense, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Situational Awareness, Trap Mechanic, Clutch Braking and Off-Road Driving. So uh, the reason I've gone for that, well the equipment and those sort of perks, is um, to try and combat obviously the long reload and the you know sort of trollish accuracy that you get with Russian tanks and um, also wanted to uh, help the mobility out as well and um, running some of the perks that I did you know the clutch braking the off-road driving um, so yeah that's what I was sort of trying to help with the tank because the KV3 um, you know, it's, it's a typical Russian heavy, it's quite slow, uh, so yeah, those are the reasons we run that equipment and those perks. Um, I generally quite enjoyed the KV-3 if I'm honest, um, wasn't a bad tank to play to be fair, um, yeah, the mobility wasn't too bad on it, uh, obviously the, you know, run the perks which helped, but and wasn't too bad in that sense, you know, some good armour and the gun um, wasn't too bad to be fair, it, was, it's, it wasn't as troll as what I thought it was going to be. Um, you can see here we are playing proper Ofka, which isn't the ideal uh, heavy map at all, um, far from it, but yeah, particularly a Russian tank, uh, again, sort of gun depression isn't that great. Um, however, again, with the KV-3, I think you get seven or eight degrees of gun depression, so it's not actually as bad as uh, what most people think um, it's going to be with Russian tanks. Um, we generally had you know, some gun depression to play with, so it wasn't ultimately too bad. Um, try getting a shot into that light tank there because you know, with prop, I want to get sort of the light tank out early doors because he's keeping us prop spied, which is quite annoying every time he sort of comes around. Try getting a shot into that heavy tank there, but unfortunately, we bounce. Um, we're just holding this position here just because you know there's plenty of opportunities, or there will be plenty of opportunities to get shots off. So, go, you know, this is the this is the best way for me to sort of just stay here and just buy my time. Do get a shot into that light tank there, we track him, but unfortunately he fixes his track, which is quite annoying. I was hoping that we could have just tracked him in place there and you know, watched him sort of get shut down, basically. Um, this is quite a slow start, to be honest. Um, we, we've done okay, we've got one kill, and we've got just over 1k damage with one over 1k assist as well. So, not a bad start, just quite a slow pace, um, just because that's generally how prop ends up being is, is sort of quite slow pace we don't want to give it up yeah we don't want to sort of yolo we don't want to sort of over peak we don't want to commit too much to anything because that's when we will get shut down or shot at um, and we've done quite well actually to sort of hang up there for quite some time that light tank has been quite pesky though so yeah we, we took quite a while sort of hanging up there but um uh, I want to tame that shot in, get the shot off. Yeah, we get a nice snapshot there. Again, not spending too much time hanging up while I'm being targeted. Uh, I'm just poking and just waiting for the reload to get off and then I'm sort of getting a shot away uh, into those TDs that are sitting at the back there. And, um, yeah, you can see there's quite a few TDs in this game. Uh, we're unfortunate enough to bounce out the tank destroyer. I'm not sure what I think that's a, yeah, it's a bison. Um, so, you know, it's got some good armour, so we, we, yeah, we won't get a pen that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the KV-3 has been okay. Um, 
it, it wasn't a bad tank to play, if I'm honest. Um, fairly enjoyable. Oh, this also branches out onto the double barrel tanks. Uh, so, you know, this tank will feature again in that in that replay. I am planning to get out uh, that sort of uh, yeah, some more of these replays. You know, sort of the grind, the grinds that I've been doing. Uh, obviously, the IS4 was one grind that I've been doing, and you know, I've decided. Well, seeing as the double barrel tanks are on the same line, I might as well grind them out as well. So yeah, I will have a feature on the double barrel tanks as well. Uh, back to the game, it's been a bit frustrating. We've actually, yeah, we took a heavy hit in the back there, and yeah, we're on 311 hit points now. So again, we have to be careful here. The numbers are quite even as well. We have noticed this light tank has, has decided to commit. Uh, we tried getting a shot in there. I'm not sure where that shot went, but unfortunately, just wasn't quite well aimed in now we're in a little bit of trouble because this light tank has managed to get some shots off however we do get a nice shot in there tracking him in place and then he gets amaracked by one of our tank destroyers just for good measure and um, we love to see it so yeah we've got rid of that light tank but we're on 148 hit points uh, I'm now poking up and just letting my gun aim in get a shot into the side turret that buys in there uh, and I'm just waiting for my tank destroyers to start sort of pushing down. I'm hoping they're going to push the one line. I'm going to sit here. I can't really afford to make any more mistakes or any pushes or anything like that. So I'm kind of beholden to this rock here. And I'm just hoping our TDs just push up. So no, you know, there's five enemy TDs left. So um, I know they're going to be somewhere. We do see that T-77 pop up. And not going to hesitate to get the kill shot into that guy finishing that tank off now the bison is lit up again i'm trying to see if i can potentially sneak a shot in here it's a bit of a struggle though uh, and the rc ends up taking him out um, now i'm just waiting to see if anybody else gets lit up and keeping an eye on the left hand side just in case anything creeps up there but like I said I'm assuming they're going to be in that corner or they're going to be camping at the back or possibly even on the railway track but yeah I'm just I'm, I'm not going to advance any further I'm, I'll get out spotted and I'll get shut down so you yeah, I, I, know this is this is the best play I can make really it's the only play to be fair um, so just waiting to see, we're trying to see if we get a shot into that Scorpion G there, but the T28 prop beats us to it. Um, so, yeah, we just going to have to wait and see, just bide our time again, um, and, and see if any more tank destroyers get lit. Now, the RTDs seem to have made their way into that corner, um, and they haven't lit anything, so I thought, right, okay, maybe I should just go and make my way over to this side um, and get in the middle here because it seems to me like there could be some tank destroyers actually sitting on the hill uh, you can see there's a ball sig in front of us getting shot at so there's definitely something hanging around on the hill or hanging around the back there I've aimed in sort of roughly where a fort or TD would be, you see that Jagdpan gets lit up, that's what we're shooting our ball sig and we managed to get a shot in we put them on a one shot now uh, now we're going to sort of pay our attention to the hill. Tried getting a shot, um, pre-aiming sort of in front of the ball sig, but unfortunately the shot just goes wayward, uh, and unfortunately the ball sig gets out, which is a bit frustrating. But uh, you know, again, we're just going to sort of bide our time and just hope that he gets re-spotted. T20 prop takes out the Yoke Panther. The medium tank was on the hill. He has been shut down by those TDs, which is unfortunate. Um, so yeah, now we're kind of in a little bit of a uh, yeah, it's a bit of an awkward situation. Now I sort of I'm clicking the cap there because my thoughts are if we can get all three tanks of those in the cap, I'm just going to stay here. Chances are, well, I mean, the fact is if if the you know if the cap needs to be reset, the reds are going to have to come off the hill so essentially what we're doing is we're trying to force them off the hill by coming and resetting the cap and they're going to have to do it i'm going to sit here because i'm thinking well they're going to make a play off the hill you can see there they're going to get lit up we are sat in the middle here and we can just get shots on them as they cross 
Um, well, that was the idea anyway. Uh, Horsig luckily backs up enough so where we can get shots onto him. Steramil is now being forced off the hill. And he has, yeah, well, he's got taken out. Now we're just going to wait and see for this Borsig to make the play out. And we get a shot in, taking him out for our third kill. And picking up the win for the game. So there we go. Um, a nice sort of solid performance there. Um, we've done quite well considering the amount of damage we took at the end there. Um, we got 4.7k damage with 1.4 assists with three kills uh yeah so a nice sort of end to the game picked up the ace tanker there and the high caliber and yeah credit to our tds as well for sort of making the plays that they made they sort of pushed in um and yeah created sort of ample opportunities for us to sort of be able to just sit back a little bit and um get some shots away like i say i wasn't going to make the play that you know a lot of people are so are you're camping yes but <laughs> There was no other choice. You know, you, you're sort of forced into a situation where you can't push out in the open because if you do, you're going to get absolutely, you know, mullered. Um, whereas tank destroyers, trying to find tank destroyers, um, it made more sense to just sort of hold back, let them spot up, and then we could get the shots off. So anyway, we're on the second replay now, and this is featuring the KV-4. Uh, again, I've sort of popped up the equipment and the perks, but to be fair, they would have been exactly the same as I was running on the KV-3. Um, again, just to sort of improve the mobility. Now, the KV-4 is a lot more chunky and a lot more slower than the KV-3. Um, but, yeah, again, I was quite pleasantly surprised by the KV-4. I thought I was going to hate it. I thought it was going to be the worst tank in the line. And in all fairness, it wasn't too bad. I actually quite enjoyed it. And yeah, we're on C3 line, which is not a bad map at all for KV4 because yeah, you, you can um, you can side scrape off a lot of buildings here, which is what we're going to do. We're going to sort of get involved, and we're going to use these buildings to side scrape off, bounce any shots, and then we can poke and get some shots in. Uh, the gun's not too bad as well. Um, I can't remember how many gun uh, how many degrees of gun depression you get on this uh, i think it might be again seven or eight degrees so not bad at all uh, like i say we don't have to worry too much about sort of uh, gun depression on this map because let's say it's a city map so we're just going to be side scraping we can see uh, our baby brother there the kv3 um, we put two shots into him taking off half his health like i say this gun is quite nice quite punchy but it's also fairly accurate to be fair for a soviet gun it's actually um not too bad on the accuracy uh, again nice shot into the stern panzer there but we're getting targeted by artillery now so i'm just backing up I'm just sort of getting into cover i'm just sort of trying to you know give rt the slip basically and just sort of think that we're sort of moving in various different positions uh, now this AMX comes around and again we're just weaving backwards and forwards here which is angling up weaving backwards and forwards just trying to sort of confuse the enemy as much as possible and just get him to bounce off our side which he seems to be doing he did hit our track but we fixed that um, now we notice this uh, AAT in the back and I immediately switch my attention from the AMX to the AAT reason why the AAT is just it's a very dangerous tank and it's a lot more stronger than the AMX and when I say stronger in terms of you know, its camo is really good it's got great DPM it's a dangerous tank it's more dangerous than the AMX in my opinion uh, and also it's a tier 9 so I thought Joe you know Watt is just better off to focus that guy um, but he's disappeared so we come around the corner here and we got a shot into the stern panzer finishing that guy off picking up our first kill of the game and now we are gonna sort of swing in and take out this IS-3-2 uh, um, managed to get a shot into him he's preoccupied with another tank so I'm just gonna snuck in behind thank you very much I'm gonna get my second kill of the game there taking that guy out again another dangerous tank you know that really we needed to get rid of um, and we managed to do so quite easily so now we are just swinging around here and we're gonna focus on tanks that are at the back here 
Um, we've done a pretty good job so far. We've got 3.6k damage with 350 assists with two kills. Uh, and now we were just trying to sneak a shot into that tank destroyer there, but unfortunately we don't quite get it. Um, it's a pretty foregone conclusion this game, to be fair. There's only five tanks left, so we're just going to sort of push on and try and see you know, what we can get shots on. See his tank destroyer out in the field there, so we try sneaking a shot in, but unfortunately we miss. Um, but, you know, we're just going to keep pushing because uh, we can see this other tank at the bottom here, so we're going to try and get a shot into that guy. Uh, unfortunately, we bounce. We do take a shot off the uh, Shashka as well. Now we can see the side of this object 777, so we're going to get a shot into him. We trapped him in place. He's now distracted by another tank. Should be able to pick up the kill here. And we do pick him up our third kill of the game. There's only three tanks left. Uh, RT's sort of lit, lit up at the back. Um, but we can't get any shots into him, so we're just going to ignore that guy. And I know there's a Shashka out in the field. I'm assuming that the medium tank is going to be out there as well, which has been lit up. Uh, but that's a medium tank on our right hand side. Uh, however, I think he's going to be getting taken out quite soon. However, he does swing out, it gives us a shot. We snap that shot in um, for our fourth kill of the game. And now there's only one tank left, which is the Shashka, which we know is out in the field here. So I'm just going to sort of go gung ho here. I've got plenty of hit points to spare. Uh, he fires at uh, another tank, we get a shot, him. only critical hit if there is trap, but we do trap him in place, so we get some nice track assist there. And there we go, we picked up the win for the game, and we come top of the board there, picking up 4 kills, just under 4.6k damage, just over 1500 assists, with just under 1600 blocked, and a real nice game there, picking up the ace tanker and the high caliber medal in the process so there we go guys that is it for the video hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you next time